When we think of birds, we imagine delicate creatures fluttering in the sky. But millions of years ago, a terrifying predator roamed the earth. Meet the Forest Hasidae, better known as the Terror Bird. These were no ordinary birds. Standing up to 10 feet tall, they dominated their environments with unmatched ferocity. Terror birds thrived during the Cenozoic era, often called the Age of Mammals. Yet they didn't just coexist with animals, they hunted them. These apex predators were flightless but made up for it with their powerful legs, sharp beaks, and a speed that rivaled the fastest animals of their time. Their physical appearance was enough to strike fear into the hearts of prey. Imagine a giant bird with a hooked beak designed for tearing flesh and strong legs capable of delivering fatal blows. Unlike modern birds, which rely on flight to escape predators, terror birds were the hunters. Forest Rassidae weren't just physically imposing, they were also incredibly agile. Despite their size, they could pivot quickly to chase down prey. Their hunting technique combined speed with precision. A terror bird could sprint, strike, and kill with chilling efficiency. Their sharp beaks were perfect for piercing skulls or delivering fatal blows to the neck. One of the most fascinating aspects of terror birds is their diet. While many modern birds stick to seeds, fruits, or insects, forest Rassidae feast on flesh. They hunted small mammals and reptiles, using their formidable beaks to crush bones and devour meat. It's no wonder they were considered apex predators. It is curious how, most likely, these giant birds were ambush-type predators. They used to hunt prey primarily by means of speed and shock action. They used to conceal themselves in thick vegetation and attacked at the right moment. Such a tactic, coupled with massive body power, rendered them almost next to impossible to defeat in any of their ecological niches. Despite their terrifying reputation, terror birds were part of a highly specialized family. Not all members of Forest Rasidae were giants. Some species were smaller, but they shared similar traits – powerful legs, sharp beaks, and a carnivorous diet. This diversity allowed them to adapt to various environments across South America. South America was the terror bird's playground for millions of years. This continent, isolated for much of its history, became a haven for unique and terrifying creatures. Terror birds thrived here, filling the role of top predators before the arrival of big cats and other carnivorous mammals. One might wonder how such fearsome creatures eventually disappeared. Their downfall wasn't due to a lack of prowess. Instead, changing climates and the movement of continents played a role. As North and South America connected, new predators like saber-toothed cats and wolves entered the scene, providing stiff competition. Another contributing factor to their extinction was the rise of human hunters. While terror birds were long gone before humans reached the Americas, early predators paved the way for similar scenarios. Apex predators often struggle when faced with new competition, and humans would later cause similar declines in other species. The anatomy of terror birds is a subject of much fascination among paleontologists. Their bones reveal a creature built for power and speed. Unlike modern birds with hollow bones optimized for flight, terror birds had dense, sturdy skeletons. These provided the strength necessary for their predatory lifestyle. Their beaks are another standout feature. The hooked, razor-sharp structure wasn't just for show. It allowed terror birds to deliver precise, deadly attacks. They could crush bones or sever tendons with a single bite, immobilizing their prey almost instantly. This weapon was key to their success as hunters. Terror birds also had keen eyesight, a trait crucial for spotting prey from a distance. While their exact vision capabilities remain a mystery, scientists believe they had forward-facing eyes, providing excellent depth perception. This would have been essential for tracking and targeting fast-moving prey. Another intriguing aspect of terror birds is their vocalizations. Although we can't know exactly what they sounded like, researchers suggest they may have used deep, resonant calls to communicate or intimidate rivals. Imagine a booming sound echoing across the plains, signaling the presence of a top predator. Forest Rassidae didn't evolve in isolation. Their evolutionary journey is linked to other prehistoric predators. Fossil evidence suggests they competed with large predatory mammals. However, their unique adaptations allowed them to dominate in ways mammals couldn't. They filled a niche that no other predator could occupy. One of the most fascinating mysteries surrounding terror birds is their social behavior. Were they solitary hunters, or did they occasionally hunt in pairs or small groups? 
While there's no definitive answer, some researchers speculate that younger or smaller terror birds might have worked together to take down larger prey, showcasing a level of cooperation rarely seen in modern birds. Fossil evidence suggests that terror birds had a wide geographical range. From their origins in South America, some species like Titanus wallery ventured as far as North America. This migration was likely facilitated by land bridges and climate shifts, allowing them to adapt to diverse environments from open grasslands to dense forests. Another remarkable aspect of terror birds was their long evolutionary timeline. They first appeared around 60 million years ago and thrived for nearly 50 million years. This longevity highlights their incredible adaptability. Few species can claim such a prolonged dominance, underscoring the terror bird's unique place in Earth's history. However, even with their intimidating stature, terror birds were not unstoppable. Fossil evidence presents inclusions of injuries, implying that the birds fought back both against their food and other rival meat eaters. These injuries also hint at the tribulations of prehistoric society, in which even the strongest of animals had to defend themselves to live. One of the largest and most famous species of terror bird is Titanus wallery. This giant roamed North America and stood nearly 8 feet tall. Its fossils offer insights into how some terror birds expanded their range, adapting to new environments and thriving even as landscapes changed. Terror birds also played a crucial role in their ecosystems. As apex predators, they help maintain balance by controlling populations of smaller animals. Their presence ensured that no single species dominated, contributing to the overall health and diversity of their habitats. Modern birds, while diverse and impressive in their own right, lack the raw power and predatory dominance of forest racidae. Raptors like eagles and hawks are skilled hunters, but they rely on flight and precision rather than brute force. Terror birds, by contrast, were land-based killing machines. The extinction of terror birds marked the end of an era. However, their legacy lives on in the fossil record, offering valuable insights into the dynamics of prehistoric ecosystems. By studying them, scientists can better understand how predators and prey evolved and adapted over millions of years. Today, no bird can truly compare to the terror bird. Their unique combination of size, speed and predatory skill sets them apart from any avian species alive. They were a product of their time, perfectly adapted to dominate their environments in ways that seem almost unimaginable today. The story of the terror bird reveals the variations of the extremes of one species of bird. Not every bird is delicate or gentle for that matter, as this was the time when forest recidae roamed over the land, radiating away from the diseased birds loved by many today. So it is important to understand terror birds' significance in the history of living beings to realize the diversity of life on Earth. While some species could be regarded as direct or indirect competitors, others were and are within the confines of this strategy quite simply included. The terror bird may have ceased to exist, but everything that nature has constructed cannot be ignored. The end of the existence of the terror bird turns out to be a key insight concerning survivors and those who adapt. There comes along an influence and a shift in dynamics that can even overwhelm the strongest of creatures. The cycle of nature does not come to a halt, thus death is for those who cannot adjust to the new order of things. As we continue to explore the fossil record, new discoveries about the terror bird will likely emerge. Each find adds another piece to the puzzle, painting a clearer picture of a world where birds ruled as fearsome predators. The terror bird may be gone, but its story is far from over. The terror bird's story might have ended millions of years ago, but its legacy still captures our imagination. A creature unlike any bird alive today, it dominated its world with unmatched power and skill. If you enjoyed this journey into the past, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating tales from history's most fearsome creatures.